What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Thank you for clicking and tuning in. Today we're going to be learning about the selection tool in Photoshop. And so if you missed the last video, it's okay. I have a link or a little thumbnail annotation thingy on the screen if you want to go check it out or if you know how to use it, still take a look at it. I mean, you know, it's a pretty good video. But other than that, let's get right into it. So uh, this is the selection tool now. There's a bunch of variations here or four um, The v first variation here is a rectangle and so as implied you get a rectangular selection Now if you go down to the circular you get a circular circular selection as implied as well and then you get a single row like that or you get a single column like that and um, the way that you access these is by left clicking and holding and you keep holding and you let go when you have selected the um, marquee of your choice so uh, we're gonna use a rectangular one because it's easier to see and use and so here I have an example of some brush strokes that I have on the canvas and what the selection tool allows you to do is to select things so we have this selected we can for example, if we hold control, we can move whatever is in the selection box, like so. So this kind of is like the move tool, but in a different way, you select what you want and not everything. So um, let's say we want to move this over here. Boom, we can do that. Now, you're probably wondering how you deselect or unselect. You can either click anywhere else on the canvas or you can hit control D so for example I select this hit control D deselects or if you select that and click away it goes away so um, let's do the circular circular I can't say that right circular and so we're just gonna select this real quick if you hold shift by the way it creates a perfect circle as well as with the rectangular um, it just kinda snaps you can merge selections as you just saw. I did not know that. You learn something new every day, don't you? So hit control D and we're just gonna select this part right here. Um, as you can see, since we have this area selected, if we hit control J, that will in turn duplicate the selection. So control J is a shortcut to basically duplicate. So let's hit control J and there is a duplication. So if we turn off every other layer except for the one we duplicated we have the selection that was duplicated so um, this is really helpful for um, things that you just want to select specifically and if you hit control J it will select or it will copy whatever is in the selection so in other words the selection is what you want and whatever you do while the selection is over whatever you want um, that's what's gonna happen so it's it's pretty easy to understand it's not too hard you can move it around if you so choose so and if you hit control again you can move whatever is in it so that is pretty much it so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do keep watching these tutorials because if you do you will eventually become as good as I so thank you guys for watching you know what to do signing off peace